Hey guys, what is up? My name is John. Hi, hello, how are you? For today's video, I'm gonna tell you a spooky ass story while I do my makeup. So if you like that, please stay tuned. And also, before we start, please hit that subscribe and give me a thumbs up, sweeties. Hi, editing me. So I just wanna say I am so sorry for that ticking sound, that tick sound you're about to hear for some reason that is my mic i think i didn't secure it right so again i apologize please ignore that and then also that scraping sound that you will um occasionally hear are these two beautiful puppies um running around on my wood floor so again i'm so sorry guys so we're gonna be using the by terry paris and I got my little tape line and my clips, so let's go ahead and jump in. I'm going to use the Morphe Eye Primer. So we're going to be going in with this dark brown. I'm going to tell you a story about a college freshman who was either 18 or 19 when this happened. I read this version of the story on American Folklore and it was uh, from the book Spooky Maryland. In this version, the main character wasn't given a name, but we're going to go ahead and call her Sally uh, because there's another version I want to tell you guys, and in that version, they call her Sally. Sally decides to take over the room in the basement. She would have to pull an all-nighter. Sally's roommate, Jenna, likes to go to bed early, around like 8 or 9. So Jenna packed everything she thought that she would needed, and she head down to the basement. And it was going to be a long, long, long night of studying. But you know what? From the sound of it, it sounds like Sally deserved it because she procrastinated and waited till the very last day. But you know what? It should be doing the same thing so I can't really say anything. So as Sally was doing her homework, it was, I want to say, around like 2 o'clock um, when she realized she forgot a textbook that she needed. Um, that was sitting upstairs on her bed. You know, being the drama queen she is, she got her ass up and made like a huge ass sigh and threw her hands up like in the air, just being all dramatic like all of us are, you know? So I think gold is gonna look really cute with this look, but there's not a gold that I like in this palette. So we're gonna use the um, Pat McGrath Divine Rose and we're gonna go in with this gold. So Sally was climbing up the stairs to go back to her dorm room to pick up the book that she needed. Um, and as she was walking to her room, like the floor was creaking beneath her feet. You know, like at night when everyone's asleep and the hallway's just creepy as hell. So Sally got to her room and she slowly turned the door handle. And she made sure to not open the door all the way open so the light wouldn't wake up her roommate, Jenna. So when Sally entered the room, right away she noticed there was something weird. There was a weird metallic smell. Basically, it smelled like period blood. Oh, hell no! And out of nowhere, Jenna just got this strange feeling like her the hair on her arm stood up and she just felt like there was this strange malice in the room. Like as if a malevolent gaze was fixed upon on her. But you know, Sally was just like, you know what, I've been studying all night. Maybe it's just like lack of sleep is getting to me. You know, making up excuses for having this kind of like strange feeling. If you ever get that kind of feeling, you know, when you're somewhere new or you just go somewhere and just something inside you is telling that it's not safe, don't ever second guess that. Go by that feeling <laughs> and get the hell out of there because someone is looking out for you. She could hear Jenna breathing on the far side of the room as if she just finished running. It was like a heavy sound, kind of like she was struggling to breathe, kind of like if someone was like standing on your chest or like is on you, that kind of heavy breathing. But she thought to herself that Jenna probably just picked up a cold, you know, it was um, the finals and everyone's stressed out so she could have just picked something up. 
So Sally crept along the walls until she reached her bed and she was groping for her textbook. What was also strange was Sally could hear a drip, drip, drip sound. But in her mind, she was like, great. Now the maintenance people have to come back out to fix that dripping faucet again. It's like, can they get anything right or no? She finally felt her textbook. She picked up her textbook and got the hell out of that room as silently as she could. She hurried back downstairs and she collapsed on that big fluffy bean bag. I'm just trying to marry the brown and the gold colors together. Gonna marry the night. I'm a warrior queen with passion and me the night. I'm gonna take this white color and put that on my brow bone. So Sally decided enough was enough. It was six o'clock. Um, and she decided that she wanted to get some sleep before she had to go to class to do her final exam. And her final exam starts at 9 a.m. So Sally headed back upstairs to her dorm room. She was hoping that she wouldn't wake up Jenna. Her nose was met with that metallic smell again that she smelled last night. Jenna was spread eagled from the far side of the wall. On top of her bed, her throat was cut from ear to ear, and her nightdress was stained with blood. Two drops of blood fell from the saturated blanket, making a drip, drip sound like a leaking faucet. Well, Sally did the only normal thing that she could do, which was scream. And she also couldn't stop herself from shaking uncontrollably. I mean, isn't that like the normal response? What would you do if you walked in and saw your roommate like murdered? As she was screaming, people were leaving their dorm rooms to come and see what was happening. Why was this woman screaming hella early in the morning? Within moments, other students had gathered by her doorway and one of Sally's friend gr grabbed her arm and with a shaking pointed hand, she pointed at the wall and Sally was completely shocked to see what was written on the wall. Then the poor girl fainted. So on the wall above Sally's bed, written in her roommate's blood were the words, aren't you glad you didn't turn on the lights? Sweetie. <laughs> Now I'm gonna prime my face with the Porefessional Primer. So I'm gonna use my Fenty foundation. So now I wanna tell you another version of this story, but I really like this version of the story better because it does give you a reason as to why the murder happened. I mean, I'm not saying it's a good reason. So I got this version of the story from Nightmare Magazine and was written by Cassandra Ka. So like the first story, Sally is a freshman, right? And like any freshman in college, she has hopes and dreams. But the future never really seemed so bright for Sally because she did not have it easy. She came from an abusive household. She had to be put into foster care because her parents were really abusive. Well, I think in this version that her mom died and her father was abusive. But either way, you can see how hard she had it. And because of circumstances, she had to share a dorm room. She couldn't afford a single unit by herself. And in this version, her roommate doesn't have a name, but we're gonna still call her Jenna. But Jenna and uh, Sally, they do not get along. They hate each other. And the story wasn't clear um, if they were related or not, but they grew up together. Some think that they were either cousins or sisters. But either way, it was someone Sally had to pretend to be nice to. And to Sally's credit, she really did try to get along with Jenna. Their relationship took no time at all to ripen to hate. I'm gonna use my Fenty concealer. 
and still it was bearable at times. Then Sally's property started disappearing. Her food, her clothes, then her textbook, little odds and ends. Then Sally's father died and her roommate used that news of her father's suicide to tarnish Sally's reputation. And sweetie, it got worse from there. Sally stayed quiet, but you know what they say about quiet people. And you know, this wouldn't be so bad if Sally was ordinary, but she wasn't ordinary. No ma'am, mm -mm. sweetie, no she wasn't. Get this, she had a bit of witch blood in her. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sally had enough power to talk to things that wise people would not be talking to. So you know Sally did. I'm gonna take my Jibanji setting powder. One day Sally decided enough was enough sweetie, enough was enough. So she went down into the dark ass basement carrying the hairs from her roommate's uh, brush. And child, when Sally got there, you better believe that someone, an evil spirit or a demon, was waiting for her. She fed this demon the long strand of hair one at a time and saying nothing throughout, only smiling when that thing asked for more. The next day, Sally came back with nail clippings and this went on for some time. One night, the thing asked Sally, where did you get all that fine food? Upstairs, Sally said. Upstairs in the light, the thing said. Yes, yeah, Sally replied, licking her dry lips. I could show you where. Huh, the thing asked. I would like that, but I don't really like people watching me while I eat. It's one thing to have little nibbles here and there, but it's another thing when I'm feasting. That's fine, Sally said, rising to her feet. You can keep the lights off, she said. So the two new BFFs left the basement. Sally followed that thing up the spiral staircase. Her footsteps quiet, its footsteps silent. So from the Pat McGrath palette, I'm gonna take this shade. Then I'm gonna take this pink shade. So Sally followed that thing to her dorm room. And she sat down on her bed quiet as a mouse as that thing began to work. And by work, I mean feast on her roommate like it's a Chinese buffet. Sally stayed true to her word and she kept silent throughout the whole ordeal. Well, I'm sure for Sally it wasn't an ordeal, but for her roommate, let me tell you. So when the sound of chewing stopped and the air was smelled of piss and flayed meat, when there was nothing left to do but leave, Sally got up and walked away and that thing followed right behind her. I'm gonna use my NARS bronzer. For blush, I'm gonna use the ColourPop Sailor Moon collab. Going in with the Pat McGrath highlighter. We're gonna go in with the Anastasia Dip Brow. So the next morning, Sally came back to her room to find it completely transformed into a slaughterhouse. I mean, what would you expect, right? The air was thick with black flies and there was an apology written on Sally's uh, wall above her bed in her roommate's blood and Sally had to contain her smile and what was written on the wall was Aren't you glad you didn't turn on the lights? No, Sally thought. It would have been fun to watch. See, this is why this version of the story is my favorite. Just because, um, first of all, I love anything to do with witchcraft. And this just makes more sense. There was a reason as to why this happened. The first version basically was just like, her roommate was just killed by a demonic force. But from my understanding, this version, not a lot of people like, but I like this. We're gonna go in with my Maybelline Sky High Mascara. 
And before we put mascara on my bottom lash, let's go ahead and go in with the Pat McGrath Dark Coffee Liner for my waterline. Oh no, I'm gonna cry. This is the only time I show any sort of emotion. Okay, then let's go back in with the mascara and do our bottom lash. What are we gonna do for lips? You know what, let me scrub my lips first with my Fenty Lip Scrub. Because they feel really scaly. Okay, for lips, we're just gonna keep it simple. We're gonna go in with the Fenty Gloss Balm. Let's go in with their Benefit Setting Spray. Ta-da! Okay, so that is our story and our look. I thought the story was a lot of fun. I didn't think it was too scary, but you guys have to let me know what you think. And this look turned out horrible. I hated it. I had a different look in mind, and what came to fruition is not what I wanted, but whatever. So I hope you guys like this video. Let me know what you guys think below comment sound off and before you go sis if you could hit that subscribe button and that thumbs up i would appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next one bye